Hi, I'm just adding this tutorial um, to run alongside TSM's tutorial to create specular texture. This will be done in two forms, one with paint.net and one with GIMP2. Uh, GIM sorry, GIMP2. Uh, we'll do paint.net first and um, we're going to try and accomplish this, what TSM's done. And also Peter J has uploaded a video also for Photoshop which is available on the same screen. Uh, it's still in his Dropbox so it's still there to view if you want to. The link for the original is there. And we'll continue on. This is to create a dirt texture on your model. So assuming you've got an, uh, a diffused model map need to open this with paint on it and we need two of these so duplicate that these are the layers also we need to import another one which is the EO layer go up the layers import from file locate it with these uh, taskbars at the top um, and select the EO in you also will need another three layers for your RGB. One, two, three. And now we need to just put them in order. Diffuse at the top. EO in the middle. Dirt at the bottom. I'm just going to change them first. Make sure all these are unticked. And we'll get the colours into these first. We'll change in red, green, blue. Choose the fill tool, choose in red, fill. Make sure this one's unticked, click layer 5, make sure that one's ticked, choose a green, fill. Same with layer 4, choose in blue, and fill. Now that the colours is all done, we now need to adjust the images Dif um, take off that the diffuse all we're doing is um, changing the saturation right down to zero nothing else other than that so literally make sure that's all the way to zero untick that go to the AO same with this one hue and saturation make sure that's down on zero and also go into curves on adjustments and I'm sure TSM put his to 132.55 we'll just do exactly the same you can you can play about it as much as you want um, we'll go for 130 as well once you've done that we then need to choose where we're going to put the dirt now on on this particular my diffuse I've got here might be different on other people's because there's a lot of light here this will act as a dirt uh, if I just use this uh, particular picture the wheels have become dirty straight away these them so I want to try and reduce this right down just so I can just barely see it as a reference so go to brightness and contrast get that right the way down and then just fetch your contrast up so so you can barely see it. Like I say, it's only a reference. Because we're going to paint some dirt on. Select a paintbrush. Make sure you're on white. Use the reverse swap. Swap over to reverse. The only thing with paint, um, you're very limited to the patterns you've got for painting. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to choose 20. These are all the patterns you've got. And to be honest, they're not good. They're not good at all. So I'm just going to stick with solid colour. And we're just going to paint white to where we think the dirt should be on this car. If the car was running, the dirt would splat up here. So basically that's what we're going to try and do. This is going to be quite thicker dirt because of uh, how, how white 
the painting is getting done in theory you should really be like dotted or whatever but like I say this is only a tutorial just an example I won't get any, won't get any dirt on these sign so dirt up the side running across uh, a little bit coming off the box again not very not very artistic but just as a description that will do wheels and tires uh, same again put it in a puddle give it across just as an example wheel arts that I've actually put in so I'll colour these in oh this is going to look awesome uh, a little bit on the mirror uh, from bump art and we will put a nice dirty sign here cool so now that's done select the layer 4 again and what we're going to do with this we're going to uh, multiply it to the bottom layer. Now to do this you can use this tool here opens up the layers properties or you can just double click on this one with the left mouse button. They both do exactly the same. Click on there, click on multiply and OK. Click on there and merge that layer down to the blue one. Untick this one, click the green and the AO. Make sure you select on the green one same again, you can double click or go down to this box, multiply, walk in, merge down, untick, click the red and the diffuse, make sure you select on the red and multiply and fetch that one down. Now you've got your three layers, we now need to join them together. So with the top one, the red and the green selected, make sure you're on the green, on the red sorry, Double click, now click additive and OK. Merge down, select the blue one, the dirt layer, make sure you're on the green, double click the green and additive again. Merge down, and now this just needs exporting. File, save as, DDS. txt1 and generate my maps. Hold on, close that down. Now you can see the specular is there. Open that up. It's just a little model I showed, uh, done to show the actual dirt on the vehicle. Half a vehicle, sorry. Select that. Now you can have a cube map. Um, you don't have to have them, it's entirely up to you. Uh, just search for it wherever you got the cube map, put it on. I've already got that one on. You also need the shader. Uh, I'll just take that one off so you know where it is. Locate it from here. You have to locate it again. Shaders, vehicle shader. Once the vehicle shader is in, select non variation. You, there is a few variations on there, it just depends on what you're using. And just make sure the dirt normal's in there as well. The other variations are uh, for rims, colour mask and windows, colour uh, mesh scrolls. So th there's a few to choose from, but we're not using them today. Right, for the normal map, select that, and add normals, and add it. And then for the specular, this is a moment of truth. Will it work? There you go. So as you can see, it's gone on. Kept the sign neat. It looks rather dirty. And that's how you apply the dirt. Again, not the best. Um, not much control with paint on that. Um, but I'll show you GIMP in a second.